What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Another Way of the Hunter video for you guys today. We're going to talk all about the Dev Diary number two that dropped this morning. And in Dev Diary number two, they talk about the trophy system for the first time. The complex trophy system, as they're calling it in the game. We'll go over all the information as I understood it in the video. And I hope I don't miss anything out. But I will link the actual Dev Diary, the link to it on YouTube here in the description down below. So watch that as well. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Drop a like on it. If you do, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But let's just jump straight into the video. Right, so the trophy system. So this dev diary was really, really cool. And I really wanted to make a video on it after I watched it. And uh, I'll try to explain this as best I can. I hope I don't mess anything up, but the way I understood it. So they, they start the dev diary talking about how they decided on how they were gonna pick, you know, how the trophy system was gonna work in the game. And basically they had to decide between, do we use the Boone and Crockett system from America or do we use, you know, the European system? And basically they decided to use a mix of both and they came up with a universal system them, which they then implemented into the game and came up with this complex trophy system and it sounds really cool basically trophies are going to be scored based on the usual things just like call the wild uh, length of main beam length of typical points crown length circumference and greatest spread so the usual stuff right based on the antlers or you know what have you for each particular animal but the way that these things are determined are based on the animal's age and level of fitness so fitness level and age so the size is going to kind of be based on the age and then depending on the fitness level and like the kind of like the genetics of the animal itself, the animal could be bigger or smaller or a better scoring trophy, which is really, really interesting. And uh, one of the main things that I found really interesting in this video was they talked about, uh, basically he said in the video, if you want to create a hunting heaven, you would want to actually hunt the animals on your map to have kind of a, a worse fitness level, right? So the lower fitness level animals hunt those and keep the ones with the better genetics and then that will form a better population of that particular animal on your map so basically you know hunt the the ones with the worst genetics keep the ones with the better genetics and that will actually make it so that the the population of that species is you know has better genetics and you'll maybe spawn uh, better animals on your map with better genetics, higher scoring animals, which is really, really interesting. He also talked about, uh, you know, he went into detail about the red deer and the color palette on the antlers um, can be, you know, more or less detailed. The, the chipped white tips on the antlers can be more or less prevalent and that could potentially affect the scores as well. Uh, purling on the roe deer antlers. So yeah, really interesting stuff. They're clearly putting a lot of work into this to try to make this the most like realistic hunting experience. And it looks very, very promising and the potential looks just huge you know if we go back and look at like the first early screenshots of the game and the earliest videos of the game you can see that they've done a ton of work both graphically and like on this trophy system they're also now partnered with Remington as well as Steyr Arms a lot of really exciting stuff happening the game releases August 16th on Xbox Series X and S as well as PS5 and PC you can go and pre-order it now but yeah that's pretty much all I want to talk about thank you guys so much for watching remember to go watch the dev diary itself as well the link will be down in the description drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.